Hi everybody, in this video we show you something really cool. This is an app for uh, MetaQuest, MetaQuest 2, MetaQuest 3 and MetaQuest Pro. I'm playing this on the MetaQuest 3 and this is a mixed reality app. You can see it here using the color pass through on the Quest 3. Now this app again is a sandbox one so basically you can really get crazy and creative. I already scanned my room so there's actually a 3D replica of it, a mesh. This is why when I throw a virtual content on the table, it actually bumps against the table and falls down on the floor. And of course, because it's virtual, you can enlarge objects uh, and you can really get crazy. It also allows you to play with physics and define more advanced uh, physics properties to objects. Uh, really, you can get really crazy with it. I'm just started today because I wanted to create um, a room for Halloween in mixed reality, which I'm going to show you in this video as well. Now, everything I create here in the scene, I can actually save it. And when again I come tomorrow, put my headset again, all these uh, things that I actually put will be there in the same place that I put them. Now, the app also has connection with uh, Sketchfab uh, in Giphy. So basically, you can import both animated GIFs in 3D models. Some of them are animated or I think also your own, but I haven't tried that. I just sign up for Sketchfab and just import the ones that are already available for free. Then I thought to myself, well, it's my PlayStation 5, so let's decorate it with something uh, similar. And I decided to just put it at the top. Again, you don't put it on a flat something. It can actually looks really nice uh, when you put it something like that. Look, so cool. <laughs> Again, this is an animated GIF, both of them. Now there is no music, uh, something that you can actually add and basically they're only going to show you some content which I added the music myself. Unfortunately if there was music and sound effects available it would be just perfect but it's not. So basically when I create videos with this I add uh, sound effects myself. Except for some of the things like this one which is um, uh, bundled with the app uh, so if you can you know that is available as part of the app so they added sound effects to it. Now I already tried to play with things and then I realized, wait, I'm going to create an Halloween room with this, uh, basically combining some scary and spooky stuff. Uh, later on I'm going to show you also with the lights uh, turned off. I'm going to get really crazy this time around with uh, all these uh, things. So it's just a position creepy and spooky animated GIFs and 3D models in order to make it kind of a, well, Halloween-like. Uh, some of the um, 3D models that you're being is already uh, have animations. So you can see here like this dinosaur which I put uh, on the table. It's animated. Pretty cool, huh? I think that need to look really cool. By the way, you can actually uh, enable the shadows, you can disable them. You can also choose the direction of the lighting and the color of the lighting as well. So if you want to create something more dramatic, uh, of course, they're only going to close the light and basically disable the shadows because if I put the shadows and even if I close the light because the shadow are virtual, again, it's not that advanced. However, again, with better technologies in the future, the shadow will be able to project naturally on top of real world uh, object surfaces. Uh, trees are a must, so I decided to bring a few trees and put them in some nice locations. This is on top of my Quest 3 headset uh, box. And it has to be spooky, so I put a hand there. I don't know why, it looks a bit spooky. And we can also need, not need, we have to put, you know, some tags. So another uh, trick or treat. So I just import this one. This is again animated GIF and I just enlarge it kind of a big so it will be stick onto this wall. Now I turn on the light because I wanted now to put some lightning effects and you can see that again this is animated GIF from Giphy uh, and just position them in various parts of the room. There are several of them, I mean there are plenty of them but some of them kind of uh, really fits uh, a nice lighting effect that I decided to use in the room. Again it would be better if there was some kind of a way to light up the entire room when it happens and maybe some logic but again I'm asking too much from this app but when this thing comes, something more advanced, it'd be insane. I also want to show you the things with the shadows, how I change the light. You can see what happens with the virtual shadow. 
right? That's how it looks like. Again, it's okay, but uh, there's option to kind of control it to make things look more dramatic in a kind of different angle. That's what I wanted to achieve. This is just by just dragging lights. You can actually add even more lights. Uh, but you can see that when I turned off, you know, having shadows, it's not really ah, good like that. But you can turn it off. I'm going to show you now. You can turn the shadow off, force off, and there we go. Now, the next thing I did, I actually took some animated fire, animated GIFs. Uh, in, because again, there's so many places we can actually use them. For example, on the candles that you see on the left, these are 3D candles with animated GIF fire. All right, so it's not like you have the 3D model with the fire animation. It's not. I added it as a 2D object. And you can see the popkins there. They didn't have any fire before, so just drag the animated GIF fire and just put it inside. So it looks like fire is actually burning inside the popkin. Pumpkin. I also wanted to create something funny, and that actually was a really cool animated GIF. So I actually put it on top of the monitor, trying to put the fire out. Again, this is the 3D model with a fire animated GIF inside the mouth. And ending another animated GIF uh, creature, kind of attaching it to it. And it looks pretty cool. Now, also added some fireworks again, animated GIF, you know, make it more happy, right? Kind of adding uh, fireworks coming for the trick uh, or treat. And from time to time, I also saving it because I put a lot of effort, and you can save the entire scene, which is great. I added also a few spiders. Again, this is a 3D model spider animated on the 3D uh, model of the lamp. Here I'm using an animated GIF spider with a spider web. I'm just putting here kind of on the side. Again, put it in the 3D space, but I just oriented it in a nice way that it looks like it's part of the, you know, kind of on the air conditioner and on the wall. Here is a closer look. There's also kind of a metallic spider on the wall here. You can see also 3D model animated. This is kind of a looking and you, you couldn't see the, the other pumpkin uh, below because it was kind of hidden underneath the table. Again, there's occlusion as you can see. It's not perfect because I didn't define perfect, but yeah, you can see it's kind of appearing underneath. Now I also added sound, I'm going to show you with sound just in a moment after everything comes, because I added sound after that in post-production. You can see how beautiful this part looks, with the fire, and trying to put it off. Alright, it's time to show you how it looks with sound effects that I added on, so yeah, let's get into it now.